Hi everyone, I'm Miss Lydia from the Boston Library. Thank you so much for joining me for our craft project today. Today we're going to use an old picture frame and some old screen to make an earring hanger. So I have this old frame. You can use any size that you have. I've done them much larger than this. Um, but this is also a nice small size, um, especially if you have a lot of small post earrings. Um, this frame does not have the glass. We don't need the glass for it. So if you have a frame that you've broken the glass out of, this is a great use for it. Um, the first thing that I need to do is to remove some of those old nails from the back. So I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to carefully pull those nails right out. And you want to be careful with where those go. Not every old frame is going to have these, so this might be a step that you don't need to do. Um, but you want to try to clear up your edges. So if you happen to have something that was glued in, you're going to want to clean that glue out too. This frame was oriented this way, um, but for my purposes, so it actually has two nails on the back here. Um, for my purposes, I want to hang it this way. So I'm going to take those nails out too. And I have my clean frame here. So what I'm also going to do is take some fine grain sandpaper and go around the back, smooth off where any of the paper was left from what was in here before, and also any of those little splinters from the nails that I just removed. So I'm gonna smooth all the way across the back, and then I'm going to fold my sandpaper so that I can get right down into this groove along the back, because that's where I'm going to glue my screen. So I want that to be nice and smooth. Um, no splinters in there, no leftover glue from anything else. And then depending on the condition of your frame, you might want to give it a light sand on the outside too, part that's going to show. Once I have this sanded, I'm going to make sure that I wipe all of the sawdust off of it. Depending on the condition of your frame, you might need to add a little bit of wood glue in some of the joints. Uh, make sure you do that from the back so that it doesn't come through and show in the front. And now that I've got that, I'm going to measure out my screen. So I have um, a section of old plastic screen. Um, you can see that it's you know, not good for an actual window anymore, um, but there's plenty of space on here where there aren't any holes. So I'm going to look for a spot there, and I'm going to add my scissors. This spot through here looks pretty good. I don't need to be super exact with this. I want some extra. So I'm going to lay that down, and I'm going to cut around my frame. And then the next step is to take that screen and lay it down inside of here. So it's easiest to start. You want to try to make sure that your screen pattern is straight. That's the only thing that, you know, it's sometimes a little annoying if that mesh pattern is at an angle. So you want to make sure that that is straight. And then you can use um, a scraper or something like that to kind of push it down into a spot. And what I'm going to do is pick an edge and basically I'm going to make sure that I can get this all in here and then I'm going to use my hot glue I'm going to lift this back off I've got kind of an idea of where I'm going to be pushing that down I'm going to run a line of glue here and then I'm going to use my scraper so that I'm not burning my fingers and I'm going to push the screen down into the hot glue it's easiest to start with a shorter spot so whatever your shorter line on your frame is, and make sure that you get a good, solid line of glue in there. And then before that dries, I'm gonna find my spot again, take my scraper, and carefully push it into that glue. Then you kind of got to wiggle your scraper back out because obviously you don't want that stuck down too. And 
then as soon as the glue is dry, you can peel it right off of your scraper. Push that down. And my first seam is done. What you wanna be careful with is that with a plastic screen like this, you can really easily punch holes through it. You can also melt holes into it with the hot glue. So you wanna be careful on that. Then what I'm going to do now that I have that line, that first part attached, I'm going to go down both of my sides, make sure that I'm trying to pull it tight. So we want it to be fairly tight in the middle here so that it's not there's not too much flex there. So I'm gonna pull that back, grab my glue gun again. Hopefully get another stick in there. And then I will run my line down here. Don't worry about the excess that's coming up. You can trim that off at the end. It gets a little harder to get this down the more parts of it you get glued down. With this last one, so that I don't end up in a tight spot, I'm actually gonna do both of these last two sides. So you gotta work fairly quick if you want to do it this way. Remember you're trying to stretch it across. So, I now have my screen glued in. You can see it's fairly tight. There's a little bit of flex there, but it's gonna be, it's gonna hold solidly. The nice thing about this is that now I can go back through and I can reinforce that edge. So what I'm actually going to do is go back through and add another layer of glue on top of this so that it's even stronger. Because once you start putting some weight on this and you're hanging earrings on it, you don't want it to pull out. So I'm going to go through and run more glue all the way along this. Especially focusing in on those corners. So I'm gonna let that dry solidly before I start trimming any of the edges. And you can either use scissors or an X-Acto knife to trim it. Don't trim it too close to where your glue is because you will weaken the entire thing. So you wanna make sure that you leave just a little bit extra. Remember that's gonna be up against the wall. So as long as it's not hanging off the sides or into the center, it's not gonna show. The easiest way to do it is to come in from a corner at an angle and then you get that little V and then you can trim down a lot easier. I'm going to check it from the front to see what hangs and what shows through and then I'll continue to trim that. You're going to have to clean up some of those hot glue strings. Now, a fun thing here too is that you, if you're spray painting your frame, you can spray paint the screen too. So if you have um, a different color that you want to spray paint the screen, you can do that. Um, you can spray paint it like a metallic color so that it's shinier, um, however you want to do it. I'm kind of going for a more rustic look on mine. Um, so what I'm going to do now that I've trimmed up the excess, if you look really closely, you can see that a little bit around the edges. Um, so I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and get a little bit closer edge.
nice thing about the plastic screening is that it is very easy to cut. Sometimes a little too easy, so you do want to be careful when you're trimming things. So standing back and looking at it, I want to make sure again that I don't see any frayed edges around um, that I still need to trim. It looks pretty good to me. My corners seem strong. Sometimes those do get a little weak, so you can add a little bit more hot glue if they seem to be weak. Um, and you can kind of press on it. You don't want to push too hard on it, but you want to make sure that it is strong enough that once you start hanging things on it, it will hold up to that. Um, and then you can do whatever decorative elements you want once you've got that done. So I have these little paper flowers that look like wood. I'm going to take those and I'm going to Mod Podge them into the corners. Um, like I said, you can paint it. Um, if you don't want to paint the screen as well, you can paint. It's easiest to paint your frame before you start laying the screen. Um, so I have my Mod Podge here. And I'm going to take my paintbrush, put a little bit down in my corner. And then figure out how I want to orient my flower. So I'll stick that down and then I'll cover it with another coat. So I'm going to do that same thing in all of the corners. And then once that's somewhat dry, um, at least dry enough that I'm not going to be creating any issues with it, I'm going to actually go over the entire frame with the Mod Podge um, so that it has a uniform finish. You can take a look at how that looks so far. Um, you can see that there's kind of an um, uneven finish now that I have the Mod Podge in just the corners. So I'm gonna go and take my paintbrush and put a thin layer of Mod Podge all the way around the outside of this frame. Now that the Mod Podge is dry, you can see the final product. There are a couple of different things that you can add onto a frame like this. So depending on the size and what you want to hang on it, you can add some little U-shaped hooks on the top here um, to hang necklaces or bracelets from. And then you can use like one side to hang a necklace from and then add your earrings in on the other side. Um, if you wanna make it a little bit more secure um, in the back, you can also add just like a regular picture frame hook, um, that bracket in the back, um, and then you can hang it on your wall. Or you can just prop these too. Um, I've done both with them. Um, they make really great gifts. You can usually find really cheap frames at like the Salvation Army or places like that. Or, you know, like I said, if you have one um, laying around that you accidentally broke the glass out of, this is a great way to reuse it. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And we hope you enjoyed this week's project.